That is Watson and the Shark, the most well-known work of John Singleton Copley. This is a painting of a true story. In 1749, a young sailor named Brooke Watson was swimming in the harbor of Havana, Cuba, when he was attacked by a shark. His shipmates rushed to help him. The artist decided to depict the scariest moment of the story. This scene shows the shark's third attempt at a bite. However, it is driven away by the man with a boat hook. This allows Watson to be brought aboard to safety. The nearly fatal event happened only 30 years prior to this painting being finished, making this a very contemporary subject. John Singleton Copley was an American painter, active in both colonial America and England. He was probably born in Boston, Massachusetts, to Richard and Mary Singleton Copley, both Anglo-Irish. He is famous for his portrait paintings of important figures in colonial New England, depicting in particular middle-class subjects. His stepfather, Peter Pelham, whom his mother married in 1748, was actually a painter, but he's better known today really as an engraver. And really, it was in that workshop that John Singleton Copley began to learn to be an artist. Interesting about this painting is the shark. Now, Copley had never seen a shark before, and he didn't have access to any photographs of animals or any biology textbooks. So he had to use his imagination and what he'd heard about sharks in order to construct what he thought a shark was. Mm -hmm. 